Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to teach you about the extended law of signs. The law of signs you should be familiar with from like standard high school curriculum. And the extended law of signs is like a nice little neat extension that um, frequently shows up in contest math. So to get our discussion going, let's start with this visual, which has a triangle ABC inscribed and a circle O. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, let's follow convention and say the length of uh, side BC of the triangle or the length of chord BC of the circle is small a. And um, that's following convention because this angle here is capital A, so the side opposite it uh, would often have uh, a length denoted by small a. And we're saying let's follow that convention here. All right, cool. Next, what we're going to do is draw a diameter of circle O through the points B and O. And if we do that, we'd get this. Okay, um, now, um, next, we're going to uh, connect this point D to this point C. So as to form triangle uh, CBD, uh, or if it's easier for you to say, uh, BCD. So we're going to make BCD a triangle by drawing a segment uh, from this point D to that point C. Now think about this, but this triangle, triangle uh, BCD, will have to be a right triangle. Uh, the right angle will have to be um, at the angle uh, BCD. This angle right here has to be a 90 degree angle. Think about why. But it's a theorem that you must have learned and geometry in the past. All right, all right. Um, equally importantly, perhaps more importantly, actually e only equally importantly, uh, we know that um, angle BDC has to be equal to angle uh, BAC, and that's because both angles BDC and BAC intercept the same arc BC. Yeah? Okay, cool. So those two angles have to be the same. Summarizing everything I just said is this visual, yeah, which is saying that this angle here um, at the uh, at the vertex C of triangle BCD, this angle here has to be 90 degrees, and we said that this angle here has to be the same measure as that angle because both of them, um, those angles right here and right here, uh, come from intercepting the same arc uh, BC, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So where do we take all of this? Well, um, let's uh, focus on this right triangle here, triangle um, BCD, and say that the sine of angle D is um, equal to uh, BC over um, two times the radius of circle O. If we call the radius of circle O capital R, then we'd say that the sine of angle D here has to be uh, BC divided by uh, 2 times capital R, right? Opposite over hypotenuse from the perspective of this um, angle D right here. And as I've already said, this angle right here is 90 degrees. Yeah, okay, cool. So that'd say this. But wait, we said we're going to follow convention and say that the length of BC is little a. So that means that the sine of angle D is equal to little a over 2 R, right? Where capital R again is the radius of um, the circle O, and that's um, that's so A over 2R because again, from the perspective of this angle D inside of this right triangle BCD, opposite over hypotenuse would say A over um, 2 times capital R. Okay, but wait, we said that angle A here is of the same measure as angle D here. So we can substitute for angle D here with angle A. And if we do that, we'd be able to write this, which is instead of sine D, we can write sine A equals A over 2R. All right. And then a little bit of arithmetic or algebra rather, which is like um, multiplying both sides of this last equation by um, 1 over A would get us um, here. And then cross multiplying or taking the reciprocal of both sides of this equation, which you're allowed to do, would get us writing this here, which is a over sine a is equal to 2r. And this is the all important obscure fact that you need to know in the extended law of sines. 
And because by the law of sines, we know that A over sine A is equal to uh, B over sine B, which is equal to C over uh, sine C, we can write a more general uh, version of this statement right here by writing this and we conclude. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.